The Shannon is the longest river in the British Isles at just over 360 kilometres. And in the length of the Shannon, there are several different stories and narratives. The principal one is the actual uh, formation of the Shannon itself. A Celtic goddess called Shinu or Shinan went to uh, the well of Conra in County Cavan and that she ate the salmon of knowledge. She wished for more knowledge, but of course this was in breach of the code of the gods themselves. And the well broke forth and it actually grabbed her and literally washed her out of the well, right down the path of the Shannon that we know today, formed the Shannon, washing her out into the, the, the sea, out into the Atlantic. We're now at a place called Curley's Island on the Roscommon or Connock side of the River Shannon. This place is also known as Snob Daw Ain, Swim Two Birds. Uh, the importance of this is that it comes from the Dinshanicus, which was often associated with the naming of places. And in this, uh, we find a number of characters and we also find a lover's tryst. A princess called Ishtu, her husband, Nar, who was a local chieftain, her lover, Bwija, and her lover's brother, Loon. And both Bwija, Loon, and Ishtu could shape change and turn themselves into swans. So they used to meet at this point as swans. Nara suspected that there was something untoward going on, so he called on his local um, druid to help him. The druid placed a spell on the two brothers. And while in that trance or that sleep, Nara managed to shoot them down. One of the brothers, Loon, fell in the Shannon and was washed further upstream to a ford now known as Ahloon, the Ford of Loon. The other brother died on the spot and was washed down the river. Ishtu died of a broken heart and was washed ashore at a place called Ma Ishtu, the plain of Ishtu, further down, now known to us today as Mice Town in County Offaly. The Shannon has inspired myths, stories, songs and legends. I suppose because, uh, first of all, it is such a majestic river. It's a large, slow river. Clamacnise has been a very important uh, place. It's actually one of the iconic sites in Ireland, one of the, uh, I suppose, one of the most significant early Christian sites. Well, it's easy to imagine that when St. Kieran came here in the uh, 6th century, that once he came around that bend in the River Shannon here, and that he actually saw this raised elevated site on the edge of the river itself, that he had to be struck by it. It's an imposing site at a very important crossing in the heart of Ireland. When we look at some of these sites along the Shannon, we find that in the, uh, in the more modern era, if you like, they became Christian sites. But if we look at many of these sites, places like Clonmacnoise or Clonfert, or many of the other places, we find that there were actually pre-Christian sites, that they were linked to uh, paganism. Water is central to uh, belief systems. If we even look at Christianity, one of the central components in Christianity is the use of water to actually baptise a person. But if we go back much earlier and go into uh, different traditions, we find that uh, water, uh, water gods, water goddesses, were actually the, the deity of, of, of some people. Well, water has always uh, inspired people. Water has calmed people. You know, one of the, the most calming elements you can have is being out on water. And the Shannon, being such a slow river, is a very, very peaceful place to be.